So we know that every moving company has internal operations and communication standards that make them unique. And we wanted to keep that for you guys. So instead of forcing everybody to conform to one standard, we took a build your own process approach and that's how we came up with workflows. Um, so what is a workflow? A workflow is an automated custom process that you can set up in Supermove. It can send emails for you. It can create tasks, complete tasks. Um, and in the near future, it can send messages for you as well. So if you find yourself doing something over and over again, that's a likely good candidate to become a workflow. And so the way that works is when something do something. So for example, you may wanna say when a new lead comes in, create a task for sales to follow up on that lead, automatically send an email to that customer. Um, or when you send out a confirmation, you may wanna say in 24 hours, if the confirmation isn't signed, send nudge the customer to sign it by sending an email reminder. Um, or create a task for somebody to reach out to them and ask them if they have questions. So there's so many things that you can do, and it can be really what you want it to be. Um, so I already have a few videos on how to send automated email reminders. So today I'll walk through another use case. So if you want, maybe we can consider the scenario where, uh, sorry, one sec, I'm just going to share my screen. And for those folks watch, Anita pulls that up, we will also share uh, the videos with you folks. Um, after this call, there's four or five really great videos. Anita walks you through a couple of use cases, but really with this, the, the, the sky is the limit. Um, so Anita, I'll let you give us a demo. Yeah, so can you see my screen, by the way? Yeah, you're great. Okay, great. So you may wanna consider the scenario where you received a lead and you wanna reach out to the customer, but they haven't answered the phone. So when they haven't answered the phone, you may want to send an email to them saying, hey, we tried to reach you. Or maybe you wanna send an email saying, hey, here's a special offer, whatever that might be. So in Supermove and with workflows, what that would look like is you would create a task to discuss the benefits of moving with your moving company. Um, you'd wait one day, you'd see if that task was completed, and if that task is not completed, send an email to the customer um, saying, hey, we tried to reach you, or this is the benefits of moving with us. And so I'll quickly run through what that looks like. So if you go into workflows, you can say when a project is created. For now, I'm just going to select all project types, um, and I'm going to say create a task. And that task would be, you know, discuss the move with a customer. So now I'm gonna give the person 24 hours to maybe do the task. So I'll say delay for one day. And I'm gonna say, check the latest status of the task. And the way to do that would be to use the find task action. So you would say find task, the, create, the task that we just created. And then you would say stop if that task is complete. So you would say, you know, I've already discussed the move with the customer. They've, you know, we are taking action on it. Workflows does not need to step in anymore. So you're going to say, if the task is complete, go ahead and stop the workflow. Now, if it's not complete, you want to go ahead and send an email. Where's send email? There it is. And you want to say, you know, try to reach you. And um, you can at that time, maybe go ahead and, you know, complete the workflow and say, I'm going to complete this task. Or you can continue and say, okay, after another 24 hours, send another email, 48 hours, send another email, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and save this workflow for now. I'm going to set it as active. And just for the purpose of this demo, I'll go ahead and create a training project. It doesn't really matter because I said, you know, run this workflow for any type of project. So when I start this project, it should have, um, it should create the task to discuss the move with a customer. So we have that here. And if I select the task as complete, it's not going to send out that email. If I don't select the task as complete, it will send out the email. So if you remember in our workflow, and you can always go back to workflows and click on view workflow runs to see what the workflow has done for you so far. So right now this workflow is in progress. And if you look at the details, it'll say it created the task and it's doing that one day delay. So for now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just delete that delay. And you'll see that when I've deleted the delay, it 
you know, runs through the rest of the process. So I'll just go ahead and create another project quickly. And now the whole thing should kick off, right? Like, so it should look at the task, the task is not complete and it should send that email. So if we go into view project, it created the task um, and now it's not complete. So it should still go ahead and send that email. So if you look under contact, it says, looks like we missed you. Um, if you want to talk to us, give us a call. So that would be a complete workflow. Of course, it would change based on whether or not the task was complete. 